Hello, and welcome to My Tiny Bottles, the project where I'm exploring my grandmother's legacy of miniature liquor bottles one tiny bottle at a time. I'm your host, Tammy Coxon. If you watched reveal video four, you will know that I was really excited when I unearthed a tiny bottle of Morandini Maraschino. It was not because Morandini made it, it was because it was a Maraschino. 20 years ago, almost nobody even knew what Maraschino liqueur was. But thanks to the craft cocktail renaissance and favorites like The Last Word and The Aviation, it has become a well-known ingredient to cocktail geeks. And an instantly recognizable one most of the time, thanks to the Luxardo brand's distinctive green glass bottle with that wicker wrapping. Now, Luxardo is practically synonymous with Maraschino liqueur today, but it's not the originator of this style of cherry liqueur. And through history, it's been made by many other brands. The story of Maraschino liqueur goes back to 1759 in the town of Zadar, located in what is now Croatia and then was the Republic of Venice. There, Francesco Drioli commercialized the production of what was probably a local specialty, a clear liqueur made from the distillation of Marasca cherries. Drioli's Maraschino became renowned across Europe and was a particular favorite of several royal families. Eventually, other companies in Zadar began producing the liqueur as well. This included Luxardo in 1821 and Vlahov in 1861, and these three companies dominated the Maraschino industry. The industry prospered all the way to World War II, but the city was largely destroyed during the war, resulting in all three of the major distilleries re-establishing in Italy. But if you know anything about mid-20th century drinking trends, it should come as no surprise that demand fell, and Vlahov stopped production in the 1970s, followed by Drioli in the 1980s. Of the big three, only Luxardo remains today. But even from the earliest days of Maraschino, there were competitors and counterfeiters, and many other liqueur companies made their own version of the product, including, apparently, the makers of my tiny bottle, Morandini. It's hard to find out much about them. They started making liqueurs and spirits in 1855 in Valcamonica, Italy. This included some really amazing looking Amari based on collections of minis I found while researching. But the company was purchased by a company called Marcotti in the early 2000s, and that's basically all I was able to find out about them. The name Morandini lives on in some grappas and liqueurs sold by Marcotti, but none of those are Maraschino. I think maybe this tiny bottle was purchased in Italy. The label is fully Italian, and it has an Italian tax label on the back. Maybe if I could read Italian, I could figure out some clues to date the bottle. One thing I found really interesting is that it actually lists the ingredients, which you basically never see on alcoholic beverages. It does have that E symbol that was introduced to the EU in 1976, so it must have been sold after that. And it has a very distinctive red plastic cap. Um, and when I asked some people on a Facebook group for Worldwide Mini Collectors about it, someone in Italy said he thought that that had been used a lot in the 1980s. So that's my best guess on this one. Do you have any information on Morandini? Drop a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out mytinybottles.com or at mytinybottles on social media for more. Cheers. Cheers.